Hello. Today we're going to make some Christmas tags. I'm going to be using the tailor-made tag die, which I pre-cut a bunch of them in, in the basic white. Okay, and then I pulled in, this is the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper, and so is these. I cut, I'm going to fussy cut these out, but they're from the paper, and we're just going to use them. I'm using a to and from, from the Tidings of Christmas stamp set and then we're going to use the real red ruffled ribbon and real red ink okay so first thing i'm going to do is take my paper and cut one and a half and then i want to measure the inside of one of these tags as soon as i find my roller so i want it to go inside so it's one and a three quarters so we're going to go one and three quarters and I'm just gonna do three of them. We're doing a set of three tags today. You can do as many as you want. Um, you can also, the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle has dies, but if you only bought the paper, you could do these Christmas tags quick and easy. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use my adhesive and put these Toward the bottom I'm gonna leave just I just wanted to line up inside the stitched shape uh, of the die okay and then so we're gonna do that part oh, I just got over that then next up we're gonna do the I'm going to fussy cut these out. So I put, chose a Christmas tree, an ornament, and a bell. Okay. There's also snowflakes and mittens. And some of them have dies with the bundle, with the frosted gingerbread. There's a die set that goes with it um, that will cut these out. But if you just bought the paper, you can fussy cut these out with your scissors and make adorable tags. Um, there's quite a few. There's a couple of different stamp sets that have twos and from from in the, in the Christmas catalog, but I already had the, I, the tidings in, uh, of Christmas out and it's from the annual catalog and it has to and from in it. So I said, we'll just use that. So I'm almost done, bear with me. You could actually sit, and I've done this before, just sit in front of the TV or turn on a YouTube video and cut a whole bunch of these out. And then it makes doing your Christmas tags easy. You can, I have a TV tray that I will sometimes take my um, cut and emboss machine and my dies and just sit in there and watch football or basketball with my husband and um get and just do this and work on these okay so we're going to do so i want to stamp my to and from on all the tags up here at the top okay and then i'm going to come in with some ribbon i need my ribbon scissors so I cut my ribbon at an angle so it goes through the hole better and then just tie a little knot and then I shorten my tails there you go so there's one in case you didn't notice this is my favorite ribbon my favorite color is real red um, I love real red, I love cherry cobbler, any form of red. Okay, we have one more. Okay. I was trying to use it on the spool of ribbon so that I wasn't wasting a whole lot of ribbon. But I'm not very patient. <laughs> okay, so there's that. 
So there's our three tags. So we're gonna come in with some dimensionals and we're gonna decide. Like I wanna do the bell on this one. So we're gonna use up our scraps of these dimensionals today. Okay. And then, uh, put the bell on this one. Then we have the Christmas tree. Okay. Put that one on that one. And then last up we have the ornament. So then there's our ornament. So there is our three tags. And you see how quick that was? Not a not very long at all. So you can just whip them out pretty easily. I'll have a blog link in the bottom uh, um, and you can head over to my blog for a uh, list of supplies and a shop. You can click to shop for any of these products. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you.